Hey guys, it's the loud guy. Today we are going to react to top 10 heartwarming Judge Caprio verdict. So you know we have all we all would have seen this judge in our like you know YouTube shorts or in TikToks or somewhere in the short videos and short clips because he's very very popular. But I have seen one or two clips of him where he gives very favorable decisions and he talks to people like they are people. Like we not a he's not some egoistic judge who just passes on his judgment and who does not care about anybody. But he cares about people. He talks to them. Yeah. But yes, this is something a top ten list of these heartwarming moments so i thought why not we should watch more of him and see like what kind of judgments he passed and what kind of people does he meet and how he cares about them and what he does and it's not like that i have seen uh, his videos but it's like that i have seen his you know uh, short clips on the instagram or short clips on the youtube but it's my first time where i'm going to watch uh, its full clip but from that shorts uh, short video we we can say that he is a sweet guy and most importantly i have also seen his shots where he you know there was a couple who was saying that we want divorce but they, he didn't give them divorce so uh, literally from that video we can say that yeah he's sweet guy he's humble he uh, he thinks about other person but today we are going to watch his full video so uh you know uh, a lot of thing is going to be clear from this video to us so yeah let's watch the video yes i'm also so very excited to watch this video so let's watch this video number 10 the graduation class graduation class a young motorist gets caught going through a red light on a traffic camera okay although judge caprio quickly takes apart the defendant's excuse that the signal was yellow he still gets to know the accused looks it was red in the video so but then it turned red on you it sneaked up on you <laughs> when the judge discovers the defendant is a high school student with college aspirations he decides to waive the violation on one condition. The student must earn a college degree. Oh, wow. Well, my, my chief investigator, Inspector Carrigan, out to make sure you graduate from college. The way that Caprio encourages the student is heartwarming. Even though things go a little off the rails when the student claims he knows the judge's grandson, the case is still a great display of Caprio's kind nature. <laughs> Someone's keeping something from me. <laughs> We're gonna have a family meeting tonight. Number nine, honesty is the best policy. In this case, a father was charged with going a blistering 10 miles per hour over the 25 mile per hour speed limit. How? After asking a few questions, Judge Caprio invites the man's family to the front of the courtroom. Well, I didn't feel like we were, you know, going exceeding too much over the limit. Not too much. No, no like just a just, little. Yeah, just a little. I didn't mean. Oh, she, she. Just a little. I was told the honest one. He then asks the defendant's son Menelik to say whether his father is innocent or guilty. Oh. Menelik doesn't hesitate to do the right thing and gives an honest verdict. Guilty or not guilty? What do you say? Guilty. Oh. Guilty. Everyone erupts in laughter as the boy incriminates his father. <laughs> Fortunately for the defendant, Judge Caprio decides to dismiss the speeding charge. Oh. He also ends the case by giving Menelik a shout out for his honesty. So nice. Be careful down there. And you have a very honest young man as well. Yes. Oh my, this is so humble. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Number eight, learning how to stop. This case was short, but definitely entertaining. Deborah came to court thinking that she had two red light violations. Upon discovering she was sent a third ticket for the same offense before she received the other two, she formed an illogical defense. Deborah claimed that if she had known about the earliest ticket, she would have stopped herself from going through two more lights. Huh? If I had gotten the ticket in April, these two wouldn't have happened because I would have known just I had to stop. Judge Caprio's baffled reaction is priceless. What? After absorbing her lapse in logic, he dismantles her argument and offers to show the video evidence. When Deborah declines, he lets out one last laugh before making her pay the fines. All right, pay the clerk. Number seven, <laughs> let me give you a better argument. Another driver was charged with just barely sliding through a red light. She argued that a box truck blocked her view of the light changing. It was obvious the light was red. That's not really your argument. I'll show it to you again, but... No, that not, is my argument. You gotta... Oh, it is. Oh, you Sorry. Want it, Let's, it, stick it, with that one. It's because it's gone nowhere. Let's take a look at it again. Judge Caprio checked the camera footage and quickly discounted her argument. Hmm. However, he offers her a better defense that was based in traffic law. We, we usually allow two-tenths of a second. 
Okay. And you were three tenths of a second. I extend it to three tenths. Okay. But his offer seems to go over the defendant's head, and she still tries to use her original argument to win the case. How stupid! Although Caprio criticizes her for not listening, he still dismisses the charge. You don't listen too well. Yes. Considering that this case could have cost the defendant $85, this driver was lucky that the judge had a great defense. Yes. Based on the three tenths of a second, the matter is dismissed. Thank you. Number six, ridiculously close ticket. Ridiculously One close. One ticket on Cushing Street, no parking, eight to 10. Correct. Are you were there at, oh no. <laughs> if you've ever gotten a parking ticket for being a bit too early, this case will be cathartic for you. Sarah pulled up to a zone that did not allow parking until 10. After she parked at 9.58, a ticket was issued for her car at 9.59 and 58. 9.58. It's clear from the start that Caprio finds this violation utterly ridiculous. These are the city ordinances, Inspector Quinn, that she violated. But before dismissing the case, he jokingly calls Sarah out for her horrible decisions and playfully threatens jail time for the minor offense. Inspector Quinn, what does justice demand in this case? Is this jail? By the time Sarah exits, <laughs> Caprio leaves her and most of the courtroom in stitches. I think 9.59 is close enough to 10. Yes, it is. Matt is dismissed. Thank you. Such a five, good person he is. Instantly dismissed. A helmet-clad man <laughs> named Jose Barentos arrives to court to fight a parking ticket. Barentos explains that his son was picking him up from the hospital. Why is he wearing a helmet to a court? I don't understand. And that too, what is there on that helmet? What is that tattoo? And what he's is that helmet? Like, like, it cannot protect him from anything. He is looking like a mushroom only. <laughs> yes, even I hit him with a punch, that helmet will not protect him. Like, why? Hospital after a recent brain surgery. Oh, but brain surgery. traffic brain officers surgery. saw his son had pulled up next to a fire hydrant, they received a parking ticket. After hearing the explanation, Judge Caprio doesn't hesitate to dismiss the case. Right, case is dismissed. <clears throat> I appreciate it, Your Honor. Thank you. Good luck. What makes this verdict even nice. more heartwarming is that the judge takes a moment to ask Jose how he's doing. In a brief interaction, Caprio once again shows that he truly cares about the people that come to his courtroom. Uh, so that's so why you're wearing, wearing a helmet. helmet? Yes. Yeah. So hopefully in October I'm good. Okay, we're rooting for you. Good luck. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Number four, Happy. your sentence is breakfast. A young girl named Janice is called to the stand to judge her mother's case. Oh. After hearing her mom's argument, Caprio asks Janice to decide whether her mother will get a fine or be let off the hook. What's the number again? Let's go charge 50. So you want to charge her $50? Oh. After the girl hilariously chooses to charge her mother 50 bucks, the judge asks if the girl has eaten breakfast. When she shakes her head, the judge says the case will be dismissed if her mother takes her out to eat. Well, suppose I make a deal with your mom, okay? That if she buys you breakfast when you leave, that I'll dismiss the, Just I'll dismiss look at her face. it. This case wasn't even the only <laughs> time. At her mother's face, she was like that, let's go home, then I will tell you. She, yeah, but she, yeah, she's, she's getting that she small judgment. She beat her very badly. <laughs> and she was, but she was still getting a very good deal. Yes, yeah, she just yeah. had to give her breakfast. Yeah, so this was a good one. The defendant got this delicious sentence in Caprio's courtroom. You cannot underestimate the most important meal of the day. <laughs> now, I want you to order up a pretty good. I want you to order a lot of stuff because he's going to be saving thirty bucks. Is that a good deal? Yeah, it's a little big. Okay. <laughs> Number three, way too many. Way lights. too many lights. You don't always need a complicated defense to succeed. In one case, a man is charged with going through a red light. He admits his guilt and adds that he was confused because there were mad lights at the intersection where he turned. Oh. In that location, it's like mad lights. I was confused. Instead of discounting the man's argument, Judge Caprio takes a closer look at it. He agrees that there were too many lights while calling out the traffic controllers responsible for that intersection. Oh, wow. In your lane of traffic, there's a green light. In the other lane of traffic, which is not your lane, there's a red arrow. After Caprio makes sure the defendant recognizes the problem, he dismisses the case. Mm. This verdict shows that Caprio really listens to arguments. Yes. Even if he chooses to phrase it differently. See, I knew. He had a great argument. <laughs> he came in well prepared today. Yeah. Number two, a, a veteran's veteran speech. speech. As soon as Judge Caprio reads the charges for a parking ticket, the defendant pleads guilty and asks to explain. 
The defendant reveals that he's a veteran and parked on the sidewalk of a VA hospital while receiving medical treatment. Oh. He goes on to highlight that parking is a consistent problem there and asks the judge to consider a lighter sentence for himself and other veterans that receive care near the hospital. For other veterans and myself, the fine is too hefty for the first time offense in that area. Caprio responds with a heartfelt speech that commends veterans for their sacrifice. Whether it's in uh, combat or whether it's in uh, active duty in the foreign country or whether it's here, it makes no difference. They have sacrificed a period of time of their life to serve this country. Yeah. He closes by dismissing the case along with any fees. In wow. disposing this case, what I'm going to say to you, sir, is thank you for your service wow. and the matter is dismissed. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Wow. I want to thank you for years of service to the community. Before we pass a verdict on our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Baby's four years old. The party's going on at 2.30 in the morning. That's where the car was parked. So they were having a birthday party for a four-year-old at 2.30 in the morning. Hmm. Inspector Quinn. It must have been after the nap. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say, regardless of the outcome, this is the best court experience I've had. We got Miss Rhode Island. You're, everyone's having a good time. So just want to say that. Well, clearly, Judge, he's been in a court before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you... Oh, no, 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 The no, no, key, right? no, no, I'm going to have to stop at every intersection every three or four times before I cross the street <laughs> That's now. That's right. That's right. Oh, you're not going to do that to me? No, I shall not. I promise. Okay, good. Number one, grieving mother. I'm just really having a tough time, you know. Andrea Rogers came into Caprio's courtroom with tickets totaling up to $400. Oh, no. In the middle of the proceedings, she's overcome with emotion. Yeah, the one on 11 one, I went to Social Security because they had cut my check. Because my son was recently killed last year. Rogers reveals that she accumulated the tickets while being evicted and taking care of her son's affairs after his death. So I got a ticket, he won possession of the apartment. Once Caprio hears her story, he reduces her fines to $50. When Andrea admits that that would leave her with just $5, he changes his verdict on the spot and dismisses all of her tickets. Wow. Thank you, Rhonda. <clears throat> I'm not going to leave you with $5. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to, I'm going to dismiss everything. Caprio's incredible display of wow. compassion brought him national attention. <laughs> How many goosebumps? That a little kindness can make a huge difference I've in somebody's life. I've never seen a judge like him before. He's okay. so good, good sweet. To you. He's good so work. kind. Do you agree with our picks? Seriously, I have never seen a video like this. He is, this judge is so, so humble and the way he was taking the decision, I have never seen uh, any judge taking the decision just like that, uh, just like this. Uh, he, uh, he just, uh, when, uh, when the victim, you know, were saying the things, they just, uh, if they were, you know, totally wrong, if they were totally wrong, then definitely he punished them. But if they are not, you know, that much wrong, if it's not, uh, you know, very, uh, you know uh, that big uh, case then definitely he just show his sympathy and for me the most uh, you know uh, good or sympathetic uh, clip of him was when he asked that you know uh, that guy who uh, who wore the helmet on his head he asked him about what happened to him why does he wore the uh, why does he wear the helmet and he just explained his story so that was very sympathetic for me and uh, and the first part was also very empathetic uh, where he uh, you know where the lady start weeping she was saying that uh, she just she uh, told him about what happened with her and he just dismissed the case so we can say that he's so humble he think about other people uh, and most importantly when uh, when uh, when some child came with the victim he always you know uh asked from the child tell me what should i do with your parent or should i find him or not should i punish him or not uh, so that's the you know cool thing for me and seriously he's so so humble yes actually and the last two parts were really very heart touching like that even uh, that veteran one was like how like many people do not respect the soldiers who have done so much for us but he was like 
like i don't know why like, where you were allotted or what you did but yes i just understand that you are a veteran and you did a service for the country so i'm going to dismiss everything and the veteran was saying that okay they the place is not right for parking and there are no not enough parking spaces for us and i was just going for my health care and he was like okay if that is the case i am just going for it so he listens to people that is was what is the most important thing normally these judges only he listens to lawyers and all of these play people and they do not care about you guys they for them it is only about okay it's our judgment because in most of these cases if you go for by the law then all of these cases have to pay the whole amount of fine like even that girl who came in at 9 958 because the parking starts at 10 am so she was actually early and she deserved the fine but when you see it as a human angle so it just shows it is just 2 minutes and you just cannot do that so it was very very good and from his part and you know he is doing a very commendable job and i think so many judges would see him and think like okay we can also be a judge like him and we can also humanize our jobs and understand more people because that woman at the last was like uh, she was about to pay 400 dollars and then it was about 50 dollars and even at 50 dollars she was like i can pay the 50 dollars but after that i will only have 5 dollars with me so the judge dismissed each and every one every one of the case and dismissed everything so this was a very very you know heart touching video to watch so what did you guys feel about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye bye